But you also recently said that the Middle East would be better off with Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein, and Assad in power. How does... I didn't say Assad, but we certainly have not gained anything with Gaddafi. And you, you look at what happened. I mean, look at Libya. Look at Iraq. Iraq used to be no terrorists. He would kill the terrorists immediately. It was like, now it's the harbor of terrorism. Iraq. If you look at Iraq from years ago, I'm not saying he was a nice guy. He was a horrible guy. But it was a lot better than it is right now. Right now, Iraq is a training ground for terrorists. Right now, Libya, nobody even knows Libya. Frankly, there is no Iraq and there is no Libya. It's all broken up. They have no control. Nobody knows what's going on. So the on. world would be better off with Saddam Hussein and Gaddafi in power? 100%. Were, now, as far as Assad is concerned, let's What about talk the about human it. rights abuses? Let's and talk about... Well, you don't think they're happening now? They're worse now than they ever were. People are getting their heads chopped off. They're being drowned. They're, right now, they're far worse than they were ever under Saddam Hussein or Gaddafi. I mean, look what happened. Libya is a catastrophe. You look at our ambassador as an example, okay? Uh, Libya is a disaster. Iraq is a disaster. Syria is a disaster. The whole Middle East. And it all blew up around Hillary Clinton and around Barack Obama. It all blew up. Now, one thing about Assad, not a good guy. I understand that. But we're backing and spending billions and billions of dollars on backing rebels that we have no idea who they are. And a lot of people think they're ISIS. I happen to think they're ISIS, but who knows? But we're spending billions of dollars to get Assad out with people that we have no idea who they are. I don't think that's smart. We have to rebuild our country. Our country is falling to pieces. We have 19 trillion in debt. We have infrastructure that's a disaster. Our roadways, our airports, our schools, everything. We have to start thinking about ourselves. We're pouring trillions of dollars into the Middle East, and we have nothing for it. We have nothing.